Okay, taking a look now at uh, dissection number nine, the superficial muscles of the arm. This is on the medial surface. Um, let's start out actually right at the very end of the video. So we just take a good quick look at this. Um, some of the muscles that we should be able to see on this dissection. Um, starting out, you will find, um, we'll see this extensor carpi radialis. That's going to be our first muscle we want to see. We're then going to see the pronator teres. We're going to see the flexor carpi radialis. And we're going to see the palmaris longus. Okay, so these are the four muscles. And again, this one we've already seen on the other side. This is a lateral muscle. We've already seen that side. Up here on the arm, we're also going to find the epitrochlearis, and we're going to see the biceps brachii. Epitrochlearis and biceps brachii. All right, so those are the muscles that we're going to look at today. Let's take a look at this video. Let's hit play on it and get this show started. So we'll just let this thing play through. Uh, you see the pecto antibrachialis. I'm lifting it up. I can see kind of where I'm starting. Important thing to do is first find the extensor carpi radialis um, that we saw um, when we did the lateral side of the arm dissection. I'm going to peel off more of this fascia tissue, this tissue that's sitting on the top of the muscle. Okay, as we pull that off, I can actually see here, if you look right here, you can actually see where my extensor carpi radialis is. Again, my probe could go all the way through to the other side and we would see our kind of get our bearings. So the first muscle is going to be the pronator teres. You're going to notice that the pronator teres is this shape. It's kind of fat down at this end. It's a little bit fatter. And then it turns into this little narrow strip down here at the bottom. Okay, so you'll see it's kind of a little, a little thicker here and then it goes thin, thin, thin. You do not need to get underneath that muscle like you did to all of the other ones. Okay, so don't worry about getting underneath that muscle. Very good. So we can see hopefully the focus stays on here. Okay, so I'm getting in between right now the pronator teres and the flexor carpi radialis. Considering that we're on the medial side, this is going to be the flexor carpi radialis, not the extensor. We're going all the way down to the wrist. Okay. Again, all you're doing on this one is kind of separating him. You don't need to get underneath. So here I'm showing you on the lateral side. I'm underneath the extensor carpi radialis. And now you can see I'm going through the other side. Okay, so that's all extensor carpi radialis. The muscle right next to it then is the pronator teres. That's the next one that I pulled down. And the next muscle is going to be the flexor carpi radialis. And he's kind of a little bit covered by this really broad shaped muscle called the palmaris longus. So we're going to kind of get underneath this in a moment here. Okay, if you can't see the line, you might have to remove more tissue. There we go. If you see this clear fascia that I need to remove, Making sure I don't cut a muscle, I'm just going to cut through the um, just going to cut through the fascia on the surface. Just cutting through the fascia on the surface, so now I can see underneath. There we go. Once that's removed, we should have a pretty clear view of the palmaris longus and even the flexor carpi ulnaris on the other side. So we'll just peel off all of this. We're going to peel all this off. All right, now we got a nice clean view. I'm actually, apparently on this one, I'm going to try on the lateral side. You're going to be able to get your probe all the way through it. It's a very broad, wide muscle, the palmaris longus. Okay, just like we did on the lateral side, you're doing the same thing on the medial side. You're going to get all the way through them, with the exception of the pronator teres. You don't need to get under the pronator teres. Just separate them from the flexor carpi radialis. Very good. Now you can see the other side. My probe will come right on through here. 
Always be careful. There are deeper muscles in the arm that we don't need to worry about. So you're going to lift them away from the deeper muscles. And there we go. You can see I'm underneath the palmaris longus. Here, let's do a little quick pause so we can see all of these. Okay, just so we can see these. I'll go ahead and draw this out here. Okay, so we see palmaris longus. We should see the flexor carpi radialis. We see the pronator teres and then the extensor carpi radialis. Okay, those are our four muscles. I kind of draw little whiskers here for us to see them really clearly. The last one we're going to find is on the other side here, just right on the edge, and that's the flexor carpi ulnaris. All right, so let's watch the video as we get to that part. Okay, just trying to highlight all of them. Of course, you see the brachioradialis, the little one, that, that little ribbon that we don't want to tear. All right, and the very last one is way down here. You, you kind of have, you see where the extensor carpi ulnaris was? Extensor carpi ulnaris, and then you go to the palmaris longus. There is a muscle in between those two, right on the border here. I believe it's number nine in your dissection manual, uh, and it's the flexor carpi ulnaris. All right, up here higher on the arm, we see the uh, biceps, biceps brachii is what the official name is for this. So to find this, if you lifted up the pectu antibrachialis, I'm going to carefully pull some things away. I want you to just notice how I'm uh, getting my probe underneath this big wide flat of a muscle. I don't want you to tear it off. Okay, my finger's kind of getting underneath. That flap of muscle that I'm getting underneath right here, this whole thing right here, you can kind of see this big flap. Okay. That muscle is called the epitrochlearis, okay? So we're going to be checking that one out later. So don't tear them off, okay? That's a mistake that many people have made. All right, but I'm going to free them up so I can move them completely out of the way. Just on one side, again, I'm kind of working my way underneath them. And when we do this, we'll see the epitrochlearis really clearly and, of course, the biceps brachii. We've also seen the biceps brachii when we had the, uh, we're doing the corcobrachialis earlier. We could kind of see that up there on the uh, upper arm there. All right. So again, right where my probe is digging at there, that's where the biceps is going to be. Okay, again, pecto antibrachialis. You can see the biceps brachii underneath it. And then where, there we go. Okay, so this might be a great place to pause it. And let's just quickly highlight the muscles that we should know at this stage. We should know what this big green one is right here. We should know what this one is down here inside. We should know uh, this muscle. It's the one we saw on both sides. This is our landmark we find first. Starting this next one here, here, and then there's the one on the edge. Okay? Oh, and then, of course, there's this little ribbon guy that we've seen a long time ago. So there's lots of muscles to see, so let's just go through them really quick. I'll change colors here. All right, so we see right here is the um, brachioradialis. Let me get rid of all the colors and start over. Brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis. We have then the pronator teres, the flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and then back here you can barely see it is the uh, flexor carpi ulnaris. We then have the epitrochlearis, is this big broad sheet right here. Again, humans actually don't have this muscle. Kind of like the anconius, it's a cat muscle only. Kind of like the pecto antibrachialis, cats only. And then over here, you can kind of barely see it, is the biceps brachii. Alrighty. Let's clear those. I believe we're pretty much done with the video right there. Alright, so hopefully you can get a good start on this uh, in class, and uh, we'll see you in class.